The following is a double ANS coding short summarizing the key points for coding a cerebellar pontine angle tumor resection. Our patient is a 66 year old woman who presents with symptoms of left trigeminal neuralgia with lancinating pain in V2 and V3 distributions associated with typical triggers such as talking, eating, and touching of the face. Neurologic examination is normal. The patient demonstrates no facial numbness or weakness. Diagnostic imaging in the form of an MRI with representative axial sequence demonstrating an enhancing mass in the left cerebellopontine angle appearing to arise from the tentorium near the petrous apex with mass effect on the lateral aspect of the pons near the root entry zone of the left trigeminal nerve with mass effect on the nerve as well. The diagnosis is left trigeminal neuralgia secondary to a cerebellopontine angle tumor. The first step is to obtain an appropriate diagnostic code for the patient's condition, and we will use the ICD-10 diagnostic nomenclature. For the patient's primary complaint of trigeminal neuralgia, under the section on diseases of the nervous system from G00 to G99, diagnosis for trigeminal neuralgia is G50.0. The primary diagnosis in this case is a neoplasm in the cerebellopontine angle, and so under the section on neoplasms from C00 to D49, we have several codes which could be selected in the case of a cerebellopontine angle tumor. In this particular case, because this appears to arise from the tentorium and have the appearance of a meningioma, either diagnostic code D32.0 or benign neoplasm of cerebral meninges or D33.1, benign neoplasm of the brain infratentorial could be selected. This appeared to be a tumor arising from the nerve sheath of either cranial nerve five or the cranial nerve seven eight complex the diagnostic code D33.3, benign neoplasm of the cranial nerves could be selected. In this case, we will select D32.0, benign neoplasm of the cerebral meninges. Next, we need to select appropriate procedural codes for the cerebellopontine angle approach. The current procedural terminology directory gives us two options for cerebellopontine angle tumor. The first being 61520, which is a typical suboccipital craniectomy performed primarily by a neurosurgeon with approach through the cerebellopontine angle along the petrous face for resection of a tumor. If a transmastoid or transtemporal approach were utilized with the assistance of an ENT surgeon, then CPT code 61526 would be selected. If image guided navigation is used for the approach and for planning the craniectomy, then 61781 would be used. The use of operating microscope should be coded for with 69990. And if a lumbar drain is inserted for CSF diversion and brain relaxation, then CPT code 62272 would also be coded. Some additional tips regarding coding of cerebellopontine angle tumor resections. For the transtemporal or transmastoid approach using 61526, if this is performed with a another primary or co-surgeon, such as an ENT surgeon, the 62 modifier should be used. The posterior fossa skull base approach and resection codes should not be used for cerebellopontine angle tumors as the skull base approach is included within the 61520 and 61526 codes. Cranial nerve monitoring and brainstem auditory evoked responses as well as other neuromonitoring performed during the procedure should not be coded for. 
any dural repair, including dural grafting and cranioplasty, including the use of mesh or bone cement is inclusive within the primary code and should not be coded separately. And remember that due to a national correct coding initiative edit, that when 69990 and 61781 are coded together, a 59 modifier should be used with 69990. So in this particular case, because the tumor was contained well within the cerebellopontine angle, a traditional suboccipital craniectomy was performed. CPT codes utilized were 61520 for craniectomy for resection of cerebellopontine angle tumor with navigation used to plan the craniectomy. And so 61781 was utilized. Operating microscope was used for approach to the tumor and resection. And so 69990 was coded. Cranial nerve monitoring and brain stem auditory evoked responses were used during the procedure. Postoperatively, the patient did well with no incurred deficits and resolution of her left facial pain and postoperative MRI showing complete resection of the tumor. In summary, the first step is to identify a correct diagnostic code using the ICD-10 nomenclature. Next, the appropriate craniotomy code for resection of tumor should be utilized for cerebellopontine angle tumors. The options are 61520 or 61526. Posterior fossa skull base approach and resection codes should not be used with cerebellopontine angle tumors. Additional services performed during the operation such as navigation, microsurgical techniques, or CSF diversion can be coded for with the use of appropriate add-on codes. Cranial nerve monitoring, dural repair, or dural patching, and cranioplasty should not be coded for as these are inclusive in the work of the primary craniotomy code. And remember to use the appropriate modifiers such as the 59 modifier for use of 69990 in conjunction with 61781 and the 62 modifier for the transtemporal transmastoid approach with a co-surgeon such as an ENT surgeon.